Lisa from Diamonds and Stitches and I am going to do a diamond paint with me storage uh, information tip video today um, that has kind of um, it's basically like what I use and started using for all of my drills my uh, diamond drills for diamond painting and um, what I started with and what I'm ending with um, or currently using I guess um, because I have tried different things and uh, I hadn't come across something that I was truly truly happy with until now so I thought that I know I talked about it in some of my previous videos that I would do a um, kind of what my storage systems started as and um, what's out there and what you can do and what you can use and um, what's worked for me um, in the end and so hopefully maybe you'll get some um, tips and and use my experience and maybe save yourself some money in the long run um, maybe uh, by figuring out you know what didn't work for me and um, what might work for you. So um, without further ado, let's get to that. I will move you guys down and we'll get going. Okay, so the first thing obviously that a lot of people use, you know that your drills come in uh, little bags. Um, mostly they're like kind of a cellophane little bag. Uh, they're really annoying. Um, they have the numbers on the outsides of the bags and uh, and that's the way that they come. Um, once you open the bag, you want to do something with it. Now some, some um, stores will give you provide some plastic very little tiny plastic baggies to put the extra drills in typically there's not a lot of those you might get up to 10 of those little baggies well most pictures have more than 10 um, numbers of drills or 10 different colors most of them are more than 10 and so you're going to be left without um some sort of storage to put those in and so my first thought was okay well they came in baggies so let me go and get some baggies and figure it out so I went to the store and I got these these baggies I think I bought them from a bulk a bulk outlet place these are three by four three inches by four inches they're a nice size um they have a really nice, they're nice and sturdy to open. They close up really nice. And this was pretty good. I didn't mind using this, but then I found that um, they slipped and slided all over the place. And so, um, you know, or I was collecting them somewhere um, because one fell on the floor and I couldn't find it or something like that. And so I was like, okay, there's gotta be something better. So the second, Thing that I went to was I went to Michael's or Joanne's as are called options and it's just a circle with several little um, several little spaces to put your drills in so what I did was this was actually with my very very first set when I um, after I got to the plastic baggies and they weren't working out for me I went and bought this and this was what I did the owl picture that I gave to my son that I made for my son for Christmas a few years ago and so then what I did was I cut the bag that the drill came in and can you see that the number of the drill that corresponded to the oh goodness that corresponded to the there we go um that corresponded to the color on the canvas and so I cut that out and I put all the drills inside the little space and then I put the um the little bag number inside of that now what 
and I guess my intent was, oh, I was going to continue with this thing. So I could have put some stickers on the front and then written the number on the sticker. Um, I could have just sharpied the number on top of the, the container, but I didn't want to do that because what if my next, uh, diamond painting didn't have the same numbers and then I was you know sol and so I was like okay well that's not gonna work so I bought quite a few of these and um and they weren't great for the time but then I dropped it and when I dropped it on the tile floor uh, one of the things came open and spilled absolutely everywhere. So I was like, okay, well, that's not working for me. And then I also noticed that as I kept opening and closing, opening and closing, the opening got, um, you know, it started getting worn. And so um, that wasn't working out so well. So I went online and I was looking what other people were using and I was got, got all excited and um, I used to bead as well and um, and I had bought something very, very similar to this and I was like, ooh, this could work. So the next option I went with ooh, is this kit here and I bought this at Joann's and used a 50% off coupon and then I think I even had like an additional 10% off that day or something so I think that these are like $50 and so then I got it for you know half off so 25 and then I think I got another 10 which basically took the tax so I paid like $25 for for this not bad a uh, nice kind of plastic top and then um, comes with all of these different size uh, containers in it. And, oh, this one is open. Fantastic. Yes, it is. Um, like really, it's open. Hmm. Um, they come in different sizes. So there's, I think that there's three sizes. So there's a large a medium and a small and um, I believe that each set comes with all three sizes I'm not sure oh no and there's another size Ooh, never use this one uh, this big big bad boy here so um so I actually liked this system it worked pretty well and I could you know use the the different sized uh containers that um depending on how big the bag of drills was going to be or how many bags in the same number that I had I was able to do that it came with these lovely stickers to put on your containers and so I used the DMC numbering system on this which again for the this is still a kit I'm still working on because I haven't finished it and uh, so I thought okay well that's that works pretty good and it didn't cost a whole lot in storage well I have found that um, not only is, can it be hard to open and hard to close sometimes, um, but I dropped this case, another case like this one, and it broke the corner off of it. And so, um, and so it doesn't close properly. And so I very gingerly need to, to, uh, you know, take it around. And so, um, that wasn't, that wasn't fabulous. The thing that I did like about this though, is that you can open these little containers quite wide, right? And if you use, um, one of the trays that has the, the, um, funnel attached to it, um, it's really easy just to put that on the top here and then you know slide the the drills or diamonds back into this little container and so that worked out pretty well but I wasn't super happy especially after I dropped the case and it broke 
So then, you know, watched a few more YouTubes, saw what other people were using. Oh, and this is called the Elizabeth Ward, is that what it's called? The Bead Storage Solutions. See that there? And it's the Elizabeth Ward um, storage set. And I will link uh, what I can find basically um, down in the description. So was not happy with that, spent a lot of money on it and started watching some YouTube um, uh, YouTubers. And I believe that this might have been Stitcherista. I saw that one and I was like, she was doing a diamond paint with me um, when she was in, in her room, in her bedroom. And she had these little cases that were next to her. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. They come from Amazon. I think you get four three or four of these cases together and they come with four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14, 28. There's 28 containers in each, each box. And so that, that's, and it wasn't a lot of money. So, you know, pretty good deal. And so four little cases, they all come together. They're pretty nice and deep. Like you can get um, a full a full bag of drills in this case, which I think it's what 200, 250 in a in a bag, um, if it's full. Uh, and so that was pretty good. And then you just you know snap open, snap open the the um, top it's like a pill it's like a little pill case right but much smaller and quite deeper and um so what i liked about this is it was clear which i like that and you could see it and that was great okay and um they open fairly easily and close fairly easily um and this is where i started doing a different numbering system i um, and I'll talk about that in a different video, um, another tips and tricks video. But um, this is where I started doing a different numbering system. Instead of using the DMC color system or the symbols that were on the drill, uh, the canvas, I made it much simpler on myself. And I'll show you the reason why in a little bit. Um, so uh, this little storage system worked out pretty well. And in fact, there's one here that um, I haven't actually transferred the drills yet to my baggies. And so it still has, has some diamonds in there. Um, and so, yeah, this was, this was a, a pretty good, a pretty good little system. Um, and it's great for if you're traveling um, and it's great if you're doing a smaller painting and you're doing it in kind of close uh, quarters. So for me, this was not horrible, but again, I knew that it wasn't what I wanted to end up with because um, while it's not completely flimsy, it's still, it's plastic and it's kind of flimsy and these little, these little um, lockers, uh, tabs to um, close up the whole entire case um, are not uh, the sturdiest like this one's almost like I can feel that not too long I don't know that it will last that much longer um, and the other thing that I did not love and I'm not gonna lie I did not love that these were all uh, put together like a little pill case because um, I, I I don't really know why it's just not um, a favorite. So I uh, I like the individual cases. So again, you know, went to YouTube, did a little bit of um, of uh, looking to see what what was being stored for drills from other diamond painters, and found this system. Oh, voila! Voila. Okay, I love this. They're like little mini suitcases. Uh, so I decided go big or go home. So I went on to Amazon and I found this one. And this is a 60 piece um, case. So you open it up. 
and inside it has 60 clear bottles. They are nicely put in foam. Each bottle has a little round, it has its own little indent to go back into. Um, there's foam, there's foam in between each bottle so they don't bang up against each other, which is nice. They fit in there nicely. I love this and they're all individual. They're little bottles. They hold a lot. Like seriously, looks are so deceiving. These hold a lot of drills and you unscrew it. And then when you're done, you screw it back. You put it back in its case and on you go to, on your merry little way, figuring out what you're doing. Um, I also like that each case has a little top. The lid has, um, let's see here, can you see that? It has a little um, cargo net and, uh, and it's a great place to put your diamond painting pan and uh, your tray and any extra drills. And um, this bigger one, I keep a lot more stuff in than the smaller ones. But I love this. I love this so much. And um, I just use the stickers that I had on hand. I'm going to go and get some round ones and replace so that it just looks nicer. Because I'm a little OCD about stuff like that. But I was kidding up a, a Diamond Art Club. I think that this one is Magical Mama. Um, this set here. And I didn't have any round stickers. And I really wanted to get it done. So I did. Well, this case was taking forever to get to me. I bought it on Amazon. It still came from a seller in China, I believe. And, um, and it was just taking forever. I also want to say that I paid $40 for this one. Not horrible. But I went on and I was like, okay, let's not kid ourselves. I am definitely going to need more. And um, I don't know that I'm going to need more 60s because that's a lot. So I went on Ally Express and they have the exact same, exact same storage. Let's look and see what other size is. So they came, this actually was a two piece set. I bought this as a two piece set um, from Ally Express. I don't know if it's still as a set. I, I know I went on the other day and I noticed that, um, that they were being sold individually, but I bought this set and I think the whole set was $23 maybe. Um, if I can find it, I will link it. Um, but I bought a 15 and a 30. And again, same thing has the has the little cargo netting, um, and where I put whatever I'm working on, whatever drill pen I've decided to use for um, that that set. I don't remember what this one is. I'll have to go look. Um, but super nice. Okay, another reason why I like this is because not only do the little bottles um, have their own little little storage area to go into and they don't bang on each other but this case is hard so when you zipper it up i've had no problem with any of my zippers they've been great quality um the other thing is is that it has a nice little carry handle which is nice and so i can carry it around if i drop it that's okay because it's hard it's hard enough um, it's still, it's soft, but it's hard. Like, I mean, you can't sit on it and not expect it to get squished or maybe I can't sit on it and expect it not to get squished, but, um, it's, it's hard. And so when I drop it, which I have because I drop things all the time, um, it doesn't break and everything in here is protected. And so even, the um the little bottles you know they don't go anywhere they don't they don't break and so i have not had one not had one um have a problem um the only thing that i will say about these is that you know quality control on on um 
cheaper priced items are not always the best. And so occasionally I have noticed that there are some sharp edges on the um, top of the, the screw top. Um, there's, you know, it just hasn't been filed away properly or cut off, you know, at, at the closest to the plastic as it could have been. And so there, you know, is some, some of these have been that way and that's, but that's okay to me because I can take a little file, nail file to it if I had to, um, for the most part, I don't care. So, but if it was pokey and sticky and was going to cause me some, some bleeding, uh, I probably would do something about it, but, and so this is, this is the little 15 and it's, it's a perfect size. I love this, this little baby. Um, this one does not have a handle. The 30 size and the 60 size did. This little guy did not come with a handle and, um, but it does have this little, this little, um, tab on it that you could put one of those little carbon uh you know those little keychain things in it and um and hook it onto something if you needed to so what do i do with the drills when i'm finished with a, a diamond painting kit i honestly used to throw them out um if i saved any it was because I was afraid maybe a drill would fall off before I um, framed the picture. And, um, but once it was framed, I don't have any need to keep the drills. And so I didn't. And um, I started off doing all of my, not all, many of my diamond painting kits came from Ally Express, some store on Ally Express. And um, for the most part, you know, I, I had had really good luck. I didn't have any kits that were missing drills. Um, I had an abundance of drills left over. And so I wasn't worried about not having, uh, I didn't need to save them. And so I threw them out. Well, but I decided once I bought the Diamond Art Club ones that the drills were so nice that I decided to keep the drills um, when I was done with a canvas and then I was like okay well what do I do you know when I am done because once I've once I have finished the kit and I'm done with the colors then these need to go away so that I can use this set to kit up another diamond painting um, painting and so what I do is this, I take these nice baggies that I had bought in the beginning to start and I have this little lidded box that I, I store them in and I took one of the little clips that I use to clip my um, diamond painting down either on my table or my light pad. Um, just to keep these together because I don't have that many yet to be able to fill this box without them all sliding around. So what I did was I took, let's see here, I took a handy dandy Sharpie and I went back to the uh, index of the diamond painting that I had just finished, figured out what number one was let's say it was 310, wrote 310 on the bag, and then threw all of the diamonds in there. Went to the next one, said, oh, it's 344. Now these are all DMC colors, DMC numbers. Um, and so I was like, okay, 334, let's write that on there, throw those in there. And so um, whenever I go to use a diamond art kit that may not have enough diamonds, which I've never had that problem, or another um, kit that I have bought from some store on Ally Express that has used the DMC colors as part of their index uh, chart, I have some drills to go to. And so 
Um, why Sharpie, you ask? I have noticed that some people have put a sticker on their baggie and then, um, and then labeled it that way. Well, I and stickers don't always, um, we're not always friends and the stickers come off the bag. And so if the sticker comes off the bag and I don't see it, I then have no idea what the color is that's in the bag. And actually that's not entirely true because I actually work with DMC colors and numbers. And so I could figure it out um, because I cross stitch. But if you don't, and you don't know what the number is or what the color is, um, Sharpie. Sharpie is a lot better. Um, I will just say this, when you write it on the bag, let it sit and dry for a few minutes before you touch it and put anything in there because it is plastic. While Sharpie is a permanent Sharpie, it does come out, you know, liquidy and thick and so, and it will smudge right away. So, um, just a warning. Hmm. Ask me how I know that. So that's what I do. And then, um, once I have, have put all of my spare drills in to a bag with the number. I then throw it into this little this little bin and kit up my next set and go. Um, if I know, you know, so I don't write, and here's the other thing, I don't have five bags of 310. If I know that it's a 310 and I have a bag for 310, I'm gonna put all the drills that are 310 in the same bag. Um, yes, I know that there's different die lots sometimes. I'm not sure if that actually applies to drills. It might. Um, again, I have not run into that. So, um, so I just see if I have that bag number. If I do, great. If I don't, I just write a new one and I plop it on in there and, and, uh, if I need it, I've got it. So I hope that that helps with uh, some storage ideas and that maybe my experience will help you. I will say that by far, I am super happy with this. Um, I know at a glance what, um, because of the size, which kit I'm working on. And so I don't even have to keep the, the um, index with it, but you could. Um, I'm super happy with this set and I think that, um, well, I'm pretty certain that I'm going to stick with it and um, hope that you find a storage system that works for you. If you have, please leave that in the comments or let me know which one have you used and why you like it or dislike it and you've been looking for something else or, um, you know, your, your storage solutions for diamond painting, um, I would really enjoy hearing and uh, reading your comments. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate you all, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.